Mmm. That's good coffee. Just like how this is probably going to be a decent, epi- well, good episode of the podcast. It's going to be a, this is gonna be one of our best episodes yet. Trust People me. are going to go bananas. Okay. People are going to go wild. They're going to go hog wild for this episode. Yep. Welcome, one and all, uh, to another episode of the Super Mega Cast. Fuck, hold on, man. Y'all know how we do it here. You know, like adjusting our microphones after we start recording. Just kind of talk. It's kind of like this podcast is the exact conversations people have like during a lunch break. This, so the, I feel like we can accompany a lot of lunch breaks out there. These are the exact conversations that you and I have when we're not recording. Like people, people wonder if we put on like a face, but it's really like... Well, well you do because you're a bit... Well, yes, I have to save appearances, but... Yeah. You're a bit feminine. Which there's nothing wrong with. Well, I mean, how I am off camera in terms of my masculinity is not something that you need to know. I was talking about the makeup. I just didn't want you to think that I was being disrespectful by saying that it was something about your personality. I was hoping that you would just let the sunglasses fly this time and not have to bring up why I'm wearing them. That'd be cool, you know, every now and then. Just let me do my thing, man. I'm wearing uh, sunglasses because I, I had on a eyeshadow and stuff last night um, for the reason of a photo shoot, not because I was out at uh, any mean, specific clubs in West Hollywood. just taking pictures of yourself with your iPhone a photo shoot, then yes. I guess that's what, like, influencers call a photo shoot these days. Ryan, it was a real photo shoot. Okay. There were PAs. Yeah. It's for Time Magazine, dude. Now you make me go out and spoil it for everybody. I'm sorry. Look, I apologize. Not really, because I don't believe you. No, they're they're on my probably on Instagram now. You can just say you put on the makeup for yourself, and I I would not think anything of it. I would actually commend you and say, yeah, okay. I can't, looked, I can't get all the eyeshadow off. I tried so hard. It's it's just can you guys see? I look like uh, a little more dead than usual. So people are like, huh? It's hard to tell a difference. Yeah, probably. Like oh, I didn't see a difference. You always look dead like a raccoon. Damn it! I didn't get a water. It's fine. I don't need water. Hey man. Well. In about 20 minutes, we'll go to our first ad break, and then you can get as hydrated as, as your little heart desires, Mr. McGee. You oh, know? yeah. It's good to stay hydrated. I've been doing better with drinking a, you get a good bit of water. Me too. I've been, I, and of course, I forgot my water bottle today. Mine's in my car, collecting uh, all the sun's wonderful heat. Well, that's good, because uh, it, it, it collects vitamin D, and that's good for depression. Oh, okay. So if I drink that, there'll be vitamin D in that water? Yeah. Okay. That's how that works. Vitamin D actually, so, uh, if you're depressed, a lot of people, uh... Just need to go step out into the sun and take a walk. For real, actually, because, because depression, uh, vitamin D is a, plays a big role in depression, and you get vitamin D from the sun hitting your skin, because your body creates the vitamin D when the sun hits you. So basically, go take a walk in the sun, like, early morning. Touch grass. Sip a, take a few sips of beer. Yes. And you should be good. Well, that's the Keemstar method, and, and... From past experience, that does work pretty well. Um, just a couple sips of beer. Uh, if you're having a panic attack, I got two two pieces of advice. One's from me and one's from Keemstar. Yeah. From me, stop being a pussy. From Keemstar, just have a few sips of beer. It's not that hard. It's kind of the same thing. Don't, stop being a pussy, drink some beer. He has you, a could, PhD. you could align them yeah. together as like one solid bit of advice. Well, he has a PhD in a... Psychology, Keemstar. Oh, um, I did un- not know that. He understands uh, human emotion and uh, the brain uh, wiring quite well and how a lot of mental illnesses uh, function and operate. That's why he himself is so mentally uh, healthy. Okay. Uh, so basically, yeah, just have a couple sips of beer. Stop being a pussy. And you want to add anything to that? Maybe, you know, rules of three? Anything to, to help those little, those little crybabies out there? Go play some sports. Sports do help. Sports yeah. are a big one. Recreational activity, some exercise, get you to let out a lot of that. These, the, all of this all is actually. All three of those actually do work. They're well, the three sips of beer. Well, three sips of beer don't it, like for like a panic attack. No, and that's not like a medical. But alcohol does uh, reduce stress and elevate your sense of well-being in 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 a getting smaller quantity just drinking a few sips of beer and then playing some sports getting some exercise there is some your science. doctor would give you a round of applause for doing all of that honestly especially the beer except yeah oh no the doctor the my, your doctor would definitely say have you been drinking beer oh that's good that's good <laughs> how much 
Mm. What I hate, though, is that there is some science behind what a Keemstar A case a day? How, m- how many is it in a case for you? 12. Mm. Or, no, 24. <laughs> okay. 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 So, so you've, been, you've been feeling good then. So you're, so you're a light drinker, I would say, right? <laughs> Doc, it's just beer. I mean, it's not liquor. <laughs> yeah, it's essentially just watered-down bread juice. <laughs> it, it is just bread juice, dude. It's like uh, dirty piss. You love beer. I adore beer. Beer is one of my fa- favorite drinks. Love if, if I'm anywhere and someone offers me a beer, I go, you want, I go, hell yeah, brother. You know what I say? Because I don't take beer from women. I go, if someone offers me a beer, I go, no thanks, I'm not drinking anymore. That's not, that's nice. But I'm not drinking any less. And then I take that thing and I crack that little shit. That's awesome. And then I, 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 I down it like Popeye with a fucking can of spinach. That's sick. Do you hate that there was like, there like love him or hate him, there was some truth behind what Keemstar was saying? Uh, Luke, can you throw up the original tweet for everyone so so people know what we're talking the about? The dog tweet? N- no, Luke, change not the dog tweet, f- the beer one. Um, yeah, that's that's uh, medical advice from Keemstar, PhD, um, because he's a pretty huge dick if you ask me. Nice, he is. That's sick. You like Keemstar a lot. Hmm? You like Keemstar? No. Sure, you want that on record? I think he's an asshole. No. Well, I know. Come on, man. That's a hard opinion to have. Because I, I fight every day. Most of everyone loves Keemstar. I'm jumping on... I, I, I have probably a very um, rare opinion. It's a hot take. Yeah. Saying that Keemstar's an asshole. So, I'll take the bullets on this one. I like when... when, when Someone says Keemstar's an asshole, and then he gets upset. Like it, like that's like a. Uh, he knows he's an asshole, though. He, well, I mean, he that's realizes that's a that's a part of what makes him big, and he uses that to his advantage. Yeah. So like he uses it as marketing. Yeah, he does, and it works. Yeah, that's the thing. Is people he, always going to be mad? Do, could you could make an argument that Keemstar is a smart businessman, like Jake Paul? Yeah, or Logan Paul. Hate those people. Well, they are, but they are good business. They're good businessmen. They make millions of dollars. They they do know. We make millions of dollars. We do not make nope. millions of dollars. Nope. Surprise, surprise to some of you, uh, little rats out there that think that Ryan and I are are bumping uglies with the coastal elites. Yeah. No, we don't make millions of dollars. High hundreds of thousands every month. Yes, but not millions. <sighs> Straight into our pockets. Yeah. I'm lucky they pat. We're, we're, well, we're lucky. That they passed the law in California to where you don't have to pay your employees oh, like God. a wage, because it's seen as it's seen as more of like a, a, a t- doing your part as a moral upstanding citizen and to entertain the common folk. Well, that's what I like about California is you know a lot of people like Republicans will say that California is like a socialist hellhole, mm-hmm. but because it is socialist here in California, I'd say even bordering communist. The best part is that no one gets paid for their jobs employees but we're owners so we get to keep all the money and that's what i love about communism is that you and i get to keep all of the money and then jim layton justin luke if they you have can... to pick up, they, they have to pick up side jobs but i don't think that's our responsibility as employers that's their personal that's more of like their personal life and work. yeah money is their personal life yeah. here we're doing work all yeah. right <laughs> we're, we're we're trying to create something and they're helping us out. And I love like an employee comes to ask for like a raise or something. They've been working for the company for years, haven't, you know, complained about not get, getting a raise or anything like that. They're like, okay, I'll, I'll take this like a bonus. That, that was nice of them. Let's say five years down the company, you, you come in, you ask for a raise. They respond to you with this. They, they go, mm. nope. How would you feel? Well, considering we just did that to Justin. Uh, How would you feel? Well, I'd be pissed off. To quote Walt Jr., I- I'm pissed off. But, and this is where it all comes to a head, all right, making it full circle, facts don't care about your goddamn feelings, so the employer still wins in this case. That's true. It doesn't matter that you feel bad or feel owed money. No. Because those are your feelings. Anyone can feel like they're owed money. The fact of the case, the fact of the matter is, is that California law makes it so that employers can keep 100 percent of the profits from the business that they own, which we do. We t- listen. Uh, don't don't shoot me for taking advantage of the legal loopholes. It's not even a loophole; it's a law. Yeah, it's actually. I'm pretty sure California's making it illegal to pay employees. Look it up. Look it up, assholes. 
Look it up. It's not my job to look it up for you. It's your job to do the research yourself and come to your own conclusions. California actually Unless did, they're different from mine. Yes. I want to make that... And mine. Absolutely. But ours are the same. Yes. Except for the ones that you don't agree with. So those are wrong. But... I would say that, that that's cool that you can have that perspective. Um, but it would be the wrong perspective to hold uh, in terms of the disagreements we share and who's right or wrong in those No, I uh, think that cases. what you're, I think the opinions you're holding there are wrong. Because that's the thing about opinions, Ryan. They're like assholes. Everyone's got one and they all stink. Well, my opinions mine. are backed up by uh, logic and science. No, I don't think they are actually. Imagine us in a legitimate like debate. Like, not against each other. You would win every time because you were fucking fantastic at debating. I'm fantastic. At, nope. Ah. <sighs> Fuck. I mean, dude, if you do that in debate, you're not losing. If you don't nope. give them the win, if you're not giving them the win, then they can't win. If you're just going, nope. And someone like gets off to just like, and that's why I believe that that people within the trans community deserve at least the, the smallest modicum of respect from everybody who lives on this goddamn earth. Nope. And all of a sudden just, <clears throat> it's like, what, what like, Dr. Brent Cunterson it will now will now respond, have a five minute, <laughs> minute response. Um, nope. Then, oh! What are you doing? You like, That's not even a response. Yes, it is. Ooh. And then, like, uh, put, a, put a vine boom in there. Listen, I'm, I, am, I am using logic right now. I am using facts. All right? And what you're, what, 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 what you're saying is you're not even offering a rebuttal to my, to my argument. Yes, I am. Oh! <laughs> I responded, didn't I? Hmm. <sighs> I mean, how do you how do you win? You, but that's the things you can't win against someone like that. Someone who just goes. Well, I mean, yeah, you are we're, winning. We're, we're dumbing down the actual cases to a, to an absurdist degree. I mean, it would be very impossible to not have a conversation with someone. Well, that's who's not even like, a debate. Yeah. Nope. Uh, it's very hard to uh, to debate some of these actual people. Like Ben Shapiro is probably one of the top debater esque people that the, the the right clings to and, and he's very good at uh debating and very good with his words that's the thing about a lot of these people is even when they're wrong the thing is they're good at debating and they're good at at twisting things and framing things to sound like they're winning it, it, i mean most of it's confidence mm -hmm. like debating is largely confidence dude i saw a video that's of this. why that's why ben's so attractive yeah he is he is a fucking you get chad to me daddy ben daddy ben Did, have you seen him flex have yes. you seen Daddy Ben flex? I have seen him flex. He flexes every time he debates, dude. Did you he know he's 6'5"? That... Yes. I didn't know that. Yeah. I thought he'd be shorter, mm -mm. like at least like 6'4", 6'3", but he's 6'5", and that's... That's without shoes. Yeah, but, and he wears those platforms, too, when he goes to debates. <laughs> he's like 6'7", when he puts those bad boys on. What if Ben Shapiro was fucking 6'7"? He'd be terrifying. He, cause, cause not only would the mus, would his muscles be big, so would his brain. Yeah. And that's a man that. He'd have the brain, the brawn, and the beauty, because what he says is, is, it's, it's like a. Now I can't help but imagine like a seven foot tall, beautiful, just long, flowing, thick haired Ben Shapiro. Would his voice be any different? No. Deeper? No. No, it'd still be the. Yeah. Meh. I'm no. I mean, I, listen, I'm, I'm, listen, I'm, listen, I'm seven feet. I win in the argument automatically. Yes. I could beat you up. He's I think if if he had that body type, that's how he would debate. He just I, instead like, of using losing, the talk instead of like using the talking points he's he's paid to use, he he would just be like, Well, I mean, if you wanna really talk about the facts, I I, I could beat you. With one punch, I could probably knock you out. I could take Ca you out back right now. Causing and beat severe your ass. damage to, to, to your to your spinal column. All right. Flash, baby. Did Ben Shapiro? I just could say cave something? in your cranium right now. <laughs> well, what, what, what was the O face for? Not, not the O face. Not that. <gasps> sorry, not not that face. The the oh my god face. The OMG the, face. Yeah. Um. Matt made a a a, wi a, a wide eyed going <gasps> gaspy look at his phone. Okay. Uh, we're gonna play a game, and if you get this correct, okay, you get a reward of your choosing. Oh. Oh, I, I get to choose anything as my reward. So go ahead and pick your reward now. But I also want you to pick a punishment for yourself if you get it wrong. It can is, be anything. Is it easy? Is it going to be easy? I mean, it's 
Or are you setting me up to fail on purpose? No, 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 no. I'm not. It's, Is there a chance that I could? Yes, 100%. It's not an unfair question. It's, it's, it's just like, I say you have a 50-50 shot. Okay. Uh, my reward? You're going to be guessing a number. Basically. Okay. 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 My and the range is not that big. So. Okay. Reward. Um. You have to go get me a glass of water or a, or a plastic cup of water to drink. And and my punishment is. Uh, I have to get you a water to drink. You're setting the stakes high here, man. <laughs> I know. Okay. I, I think. I think I might have gone a little too far, honestly, but... Well, you're locked in. Yeah, okay. Shake Whatever. on it. Shake on it. Okay. Ryan, your question. Yeah? How tall is Ben Shapiro? How tall is Ben Shapiro? Yeah. Now, do you think I made that O face because I was shocked at how tall he actually is or how short he actually is? I'm going to say Ben is a 6'1". Looks like you're going to have to be getting me a cup of water, Ryan. You know why? Why? Ben Shapiro's real height is five foot six and three quarters. Oh. He's short. I thought he was going to be one of those people you made the O-Face because I thought he was going to end up being one of those people who's like Bill O'Reilly. Well, no. He looks like a Bill, Bill O'Reilly's like six five. But I felt like like Ben Shapiro might have been like, oh, he looks small behind that desk. But when he gets up no, and he, he stands uh, over you and looks down upon us. I was like maybe five nine. Yeah. But five, six, and three quarters is... I knew I was overshooting it, but I had a feeling there was a reason for that, for that look. No, that, that look was I, was... I was shocked at how short he actually is. Nothing wrong with a short king. No, absolutely not. I think Napoleon was literally a short king. Yes. He was a short emperor. He died and was... Uh, wasn't he, a, like, put on some island? Yeah, he was exiled to the island of Helena. Yeah, so... I think. Was he, was he actually short, or was that just, like, a smear thing that his enemies came up with? He wasn't, like, short, short, but... I mean, a lot of it was a smear campaign. Oh, I like this. But I have a feeling he he was known to be of smaller stature in terms of build. I like maybe. this. Uh, I'll look up how tall Napoleon was in a second. <laughs> but Quora, that that website for Q and A stuff, the legend said, <laughs> "It's very nice. Thanks." How tall is Ben Shapiro? They didn't even like add anything else. They just asked how tall is Ben Shapiro. James Chapman replies, <clears throat> "He's five foot nine. How are left is so twisted that they're even going to claim he's lying about his height. The fact that his height is being challenged tells you nothing about Ben, but a lot about leftists. So is he five foot nine? Or six? Why does Ben Shapiro lie about his height? Oh, I like this Quora thing. I caught my 14-year-old son watching Ben Shapiro. What should I do? <laughs> uh, ben Shapiro is... You said five six. Five, five foot... Everyone's rounding. Five foot seven. Okay. Every, every website I find in... Everything says 5'7". I love people going out of the way to defend him over two inches, like typing paragraphs like, okay, no. Like if he were any taller, it would make his opinions less shitty. Well, every inch you lose online with Ben Shapiro makes his opinions less valid. <laughs> ben Shapiro height 5'4". They're like making it out to be like the shorter he is, the, the dumber he is. What is Ben Shapiro's IQ? Well, let's go over his feats, Ben Shapiro. He has feet? Does he have feed picks? He oh, I'm looking that up next. Ben Shapiro feed picks. Oh, I'm yeah, he looked that up. up. He went to study at UCLA two years earlier than his peers, so went to Harvard Law School, Law School, and excelled at it. Published seven books by the time he was 33. Guess what? I'm 26. Ryan's 28. We've published a book, and it's a New York Times bestseller. So, suck it, Ben. Could rock the violin when he was 12 years old. Now that is true. I'll give Ben that one. He could rock the violin at 12 years old. Never loses on the debating ground, ever. Tends to humiliate anyone he debates with, with logic and witty insults. Is the epitome of intellectual honesty. That's the only picture I could find. He's wearing socks, man. I know. Whoa, wait, wait, let me see his feet. That looks like he has the same foot condition I have. With the bunions? Like the shape? Well, I think he's flexing his toes up. Oh. He has a smirk on in that picture. To wrap it up, Ryan, Ben Shapiro is the epitome of intellectual honesty demonstrated throughout the election when he was critical of his own side for supporting Trump and never once lied to push an agenda. My guess, it's probably in excess of 140, maybe 150, give or take. 
Though I wouldn't be surprised if it was even that? higher. What do you think about that? Luke, can you put that up? Zoom in on that, Luke. Now, Luke, put yourself flexing. Let's let's let let compare the two right put, now. Put the Luke. two next to each other, Luke. Yeah, for the for the visual enjoyers of the podcast. For those listening on audio, um, they don't exist. Anymore. Stay mad. Yeah, you guys can stay mad because Super Mega Cast stays winning. Winning. Hey, hey, you got a little tiger's blood in you today, buddy. Uh, yeah, but thank you, Luke, for that. Oh, uh, I recently, as of writing this. Got into an argument with a couple of users claiming Ben must not be that smart because of his transgender and religious beliefs. I was just like, seriously? Oh. And one more point. And then it's just a, a screenshot of the tweet that says, facts don't care about your feelings. Ah. Do you, what, what do you think your IP is, realistically? My IP address? I don't know. It's kind of a hard thing to Did guess. Did I say IP? Yeah. I meant to say IQ. Okay. Guess, guess your IP, dude. <laughs> 247.99.81.067. Go ahead. Hack me, losers. That probably is someone's actual IP address somewhere. Well, too bad. They're getting hacked now. Some poor, Thanks to Matt Watson. Some poor dude in like Istanbul is like trying to like file his divorce papers like after his wife cheated on him and now he's going to get DDoSed. Here. What you looking up? What you looking at? The IQ scale. Okay. Just to kind of see where you, we think... I think I'd probably be a little below average. Dude, no, you're smart as hell. Doesn't like, IQ jokes like, aside, isn't IQ like about logic? Well, like, I so I they test about like actual subjects and shit like that. Give you actual problems. No, it. I don't think it's not. It's not like your knowledge on topics. It's more of like your uh, your reasoning and logic skills. I mm -hmm. believe. Uh, so I uh. I've never taken an IQ test. We should take an IQ test for a video. For, yes. Like actually find what out our call IQ. call it right now? 3,000. Doesn't even go that high, dude. Well, watch it. I'm about to make it go that high. They're just going to be sitting there and just like grading and be like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I've never seen it. They have to call the Pentagon. Get the president on the phone. They, they put me in like this giant cylindrical glass tube and I'm just floating You're floating in, there. in like clear liquid. <laughs> You have, like, anodes and shit, like, hooked yeah. up to your brain. <laughs> We've never seen anything like it. We can't let China or Russia know about this. He's <laughs> our most valuable asset. They keep me locked away till one day you come and rescue me, and it has that shot where it zooms in on the tank, and my eyes just go, Poof. But, like, you look so decrepit at this point. You're like, <laughs> yeah. what have they done to you? And I have to break you out, and, like, care I have to, like, you've lost all muscle mass except for your brain. You wear so me like, as, like, a little backpack. Come on, buddy. And they're, like, shooting at us, and... I, I kill someone with, like, my bare hands, and I get their gun, and I'm walking, boop, 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 like in District 9 when they're breaking out of the uh, facility. Exactly. Great movie. Great Although, movie, for real. As Check, much as, were you about, what well, I was just going to say, the median IQ looks like it's 100. 95% of people are between 70 and 130, mm. with only 0.1% being above 145. So, <laughs> no one else is up to 3,000 or anywhere close to 3,000. No. Uh, so, let's... If you guys want to see that, I would love to go get our IQs tested. Well, what do you guys think your IQ is? Put it in the comment section down Fuck below. Fuck off, little smart ass. It's like, mm, I got tested in sixth grade. <laughs> I'm 142. It's like, okay, dude, cool. People that got tested in middle school or high school, that doesn't count. Well, most people are probably going to comment a high IQ because they don't feel bad about it. I doubt people would post their well as as many people would post their low IQ scores. That's true. People wouldn't lie on the internet. There's there's more negative connotation to having a lower IQ. But don't you think someone with a higher IQ would be more prone to lie? They'd be better at it, probably. They might lie and make it a little more up, which is know? a low IQ move to do because if you already have a high IQ, then it shows that you have well, a that's lower. Why, that's why they have a kind of a mid tier IQ, not a super high IQ. I would. I would. I would. I'll take a guess, honestly. I think that I'm probably, if I'm being fully honest, I think that I'm probably a little over 100. Okay. That's my, that's my honest guess. We'll find out. What do you think you're at? I have no clue. I honestly, I'm not kidding. I think you have a higher IQ than me I don't me know how far. to gauge that, really. Like, I don't know how to, I'm like, bad with logic my questions. eyes, think about it. And I took a logic class freshman year of college, and I, there were two grades, midterm and final. Got 50 on both. <sighs> But well, you just said it wasn't like a test, so. But he got, he gave me a 90 overall because on my final Did exam, you put a smiley face in a, or a winky face or something? I, I put on lipstick before and I kissed it. No, I, I wrote a note that was like, 
I, I was I was just like, dude, I it was a prereq for the business school, and I was like, I can't fail this and take it again. It sucks. I went to like the tutoring you sessions. You sent him like a crying note, like, hey, help me. Out. No, I just wrote on the bottom. I was like, um, I really appreciated this class and the way you taught it. I per like the way my brain works. This stuff is harder for me to grasp, but I appreciate. Part of me, sorry to interrupt you, Matt, but part of me feels like when we recorded something yesterday was they're the some exact same. Okay, okay. Hey, hey, yeah, they're the same. Okay, I think I'm just talking closer and louder. Okay, and also you weren't really talking right. Oh now. no, no, no! I was just more so. I didn't see much of the waveform. It was more for because I know yesterday we shot something, and I think the gain was put up, but it might have been the other. Uh, yeah, it was. This is this is okay. Um. Sorry to interrupt you. No, it's okay. It's okay. My, I'm, I'm able to get about? back on ta track because my IQ. I just said that uh, I was uh, very, I, I was appreciative of his course and I enjoyed it. And even though it was hard for me to grasp the concept of, I tried and thank you. And he gave me the final score of a 90 for the class, which is an A. Did you, did you wave at Jim? Who just oh, hey, Jim. Us? What's up? Got some news? Got some tea? Is there some tea? Yes. The mini podcast after super mega after, after that people can watch on our Patreon. Yes, yeah, super mega after oh, dark. Okay. Yeah, I remember to do that. Okay. Thanks, Jim. Oh, would have forgotten. Th thanks for reminding me because we also have to run some ad reads. But this is a little something new. We're trying. Yeah. Love you, Jim. <sighs> Goodbye. Okay, so I was able to get my hands because usually the smoke shops are sold out. Of what it. is this? I've been looking at it, but f I finally went in and they had a. Th they had a supply. This is invisibility potion. No way, so, dude. So uh, I'm holding up the vial right now. You've been talking about this shit. I haven't tried it yet. For the audio listeners, just to... Yep, hold up. It's, a, it's like a beaker. That's invisibility potion. So you know I'm actually holding something. I'm not. We're not just saying shit. Like Matt's watch went off for some reason. It's 3 p.m. But uh, so before the ad reads, just because we need to... Give it some time to settle. We're going to take it, see what happens. Are we drinking this on the podcast? Oh, yeah. Watch okay. This. Watch this. How is it? Mm. Oh, shit. Hey, I don't know. Not too much, man. Mm. Dude, I, how much are you supposed to take? <clears throat> I have more body mass than you. That's true. That's true. That's actually like, that doesn't taste too bad. It smells good. I heard a lot of reviews saying that the taste was like... Not people's favorite, or is like one of the parts that it's almost got like a fruity taste. Yeah. But when we come back from the podcast, it should be good. How long does it take to kick in? Like five minutes or so. Okay. Well, let's take an ad break and uh, we will be right back. Yep. I'm excited. What's the first thing you do when you wake up? Is it checking up on your credit score? Didn't think so. At Chime, that's exactly what they do. With their secured Chime credit builder, Visa Credit Card, you can start to build credit with your own money. Chime reports your payments to credit bureaus to help you build credit over time. Their members see an increase of 30 points on average. All of this with no annual fees, large security deposits, or credit checks to apply. You know, I I recently tanked my credit. Um, I had auto payments on uh, for uh, specific websites, um, and it... Uh, put me in a tricky situation but thanks to chimes chime credit builder visa credit card i'm working on building my credit back up and i feel i feel a little more secure and safe about my future and you can too so start your credit journey with chime sign up takes only two minutes and doesn't affect your credit score get started at chime.com super again that's chime.com slash super. The Chime Credit Builder Visa Credit Card is issued by Stride Bank NA pursuant to a license from Visa USA Chime. Checking account and $200 qualifying direct deposit required to apply for the secured Chime Credit Builder Visa Credit Card. Regular on-time payment history can have a positive impact on your credit score. Impact to your score may vary and some user scores may not improve. Out-of-network ATM withdrawal fees may apply except at MoneyPass ATMs in a 7-Eleven or any AllPoint or Visa Plus Alliance ATM. <laughs> Keep that fart in, Luke. Welcome back, everyone. Uh, back from the ads. Uh, it looks like it worked to me. Uh, or maybe it doesn't look like it. Well, no, you see, get the joke I'm making here. Yes, I do. But it it looks like it did work. Yeah, I um, mean, it's cool that you can just buy this shit at a smoke shop. I know. Is that a California thing or? I guess you I can buy know. shrooms at smoke shops now in California. A lot of stuff is changing in California, thank God. Yeah, but 
Um, big news. Yeah. For super mega fans. Oh, what is, what is this big news? Guess what? Chicken butt. Yeah. yeah. Is that really what you're going to say? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We know? share the same brain cell, dude. We Good. share one brain cell. <laughs> yeah. We're, we're, uh, we're overriding it today. I know, man. Uh, is that really what you were just going to say? Mm -hmm. Well, guess why? Chicken thigh? Chicken pot pie? Chicken pie. <sighs> I saw a tweet the other day. Um, that's it. That's it? Yeah. No, I saw a tweet for someone that was like, I, uh, you know, like, I just got the chicken joke. The cross the road, the whole point is like, it means that it's dying and going to the other side. Ah, oh, man, I should get an autism test and all this stuff. And then everyone was like, no, that's actually not the point. Of the, it's an anti-joke. That's the point. <laughs> to get to the chicken on the other side. Remember the, that one? Yeah, man. Why'd the chicken cross the road? Why? To get to the other side. Oh, uh, what? Is that from like the 1800s? Is it? I don't know. I don't know the history of that joke. Man, they were popping off in the 1800s with the fucking jokes, dude. I want to I want to look up some uh some jokes from the 1800s. Do you I'm think there's any like medieval jester type shit where we would have been busting our balls laughing? Oh, dude, you and I sitting down in like a little courtyard watching a jester, we probably would have been cackling our asses <laughs> off, dude. We'd be like two little peasants and like scrubs sitting there just like <laughs> I'm the blacksmith and and you're my son. I'm the white smith. <laughs> yeah, you know white smith. That's what I'm. That's what I've been wondering, man. Why no white smith? Hmm. You know. Think about it. I'm what? glad you are thinking about it, though. Why is it even called a blacksmith? Was it just a guy named Smith who was black and made weapons? And they're like, oh, that's blacksmith. Maybe for making the weapons, he gets soot all over his face, or some, some, some maybe some ash. So he's they're named after basically medieval blackface. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, um, let me let me. Look into deep into my mind and uh, look up why they were called. I, you know, I'm searching this uh, on my invisible phone right now. Yes, of course. And I spilled a little on my phone mm -hmm. and I was talking while I was typing. I just typed why they called blacksmith. Why the process got which blacksmithing got its name is actually a fairly simple one. Iron is one of the common materials that blacksmiths forge, and when it's heated, it turns black. Providing Wait, the so close to my thing, kind of. The iron turns black, yeah. So it still had to do with color. Unfortunately, yeah. you know, even, I think I even think, back then, I don't think things should be about color. I don't think things should ever be about color. They should be about the content of your character. Only time I care about color is when it's Splatoon. Yep. Can't even talk about, you know what sucks, dude, is because of the whole like Splatoon joke, the old Super Mega Splatoon joke, like I can't openly talk about or enjoy Splatoon 3. You can, you, you, it just, you need to be confident and show that it doesn't bother I've you. I've been playing Splatoon 3 and I love it. It's fun. What's, uh, do they have any... What are the, some new mechanics, if they have any? Um, a new mode, maybe? There are new modes. New uh, weapons, I mean, I'm it, sure. it really is just... Splatoon again. Splatoon again, just with some new new, new, new maps. Does it look... I mean... It looks great. I mean, with that art style, it's kind of like... <laughs> hard to look better than it was. Yeah, I mean, it already looks pretty good, so... Mm -hmm. um, no, I'm really enjoying it. I, I feel like either I'm just really rusty, or they made it harder. Well... People have had, like, three games long to get good, you know? Dude, I remember the first time I ever played Splatoon. That's when it was the best. The first Splatoon when that came yes. out? Yes. First time I played it was on the Wii U mm -hmm. at my ex-girlfriend's apartment, which Markiplier was staying at with me for a night. Nice. Remember that? Yep. And, uh, and Mark, uh, well, I remember Mark showed up because we were in South Carolina. I needed a place to crash. So I asked my girlfriend at the time, I was like, okay, Mark is sleepy. Can he, like, sleep in your bed for a bit? Mark is sleepy? Mark is sleepy. Hey, Mark's sleepy. Listen, baby, Markiplier's pretty sleepy. So Baby, he's had a long day. <laughs> uh, and you just hear him in the background, oh, what a long day. He comes out into the kitchen in his, in his, his nightcap and his little candle. Oh, you know, I, I could really use a Some bedtime snack. Makes eye contact with your ex. Well, who was your current girlfriend at the time? Yeah, well, they they went into the room together, and who knows what happened. But listen, it's Markiplier. I don't mind. He's had sex with every one of my girlfriends, yes, um, including current girlfriend. He's had sex with many times. Really? Yes. Wait, which one? Because there are like there are a few. Two of the three. Okay. Two Did you broke three. up with two of them, and I forgot how much that left. No, nope, those were. I was at five at that point. Oh, okay. Current girlfriends, so now Got I have it. three current girlfriends. Okay. Mark has had sex with two of them. Okay. The third one, I do think it's that's happened. not even counting your boyfriends. No, he has had sex with all the boyfriends. Yes. Um, he gets to use them whenever he wants. 
Oh, I'm I'm fine with that. Yeah, you know, when they're I, fine with it too. By the way, well, it's my decision. You know, well, you got to make sure that it's all sub. The thing. boyfriends are comfortable with it. Well, it's it's, a, it's like a sub dom relationship yeah. thing. So. Okay, but they like Markiplier. No, but I remember like Mark came in and uh, you know <laughs> it's a small apartment in Columbia, South Carolina. This was 2015, and I'm like, hey, yeah, we were like, you, like, hey, like, hey, you can go take a nap in there, Mark. Mark goes into there and just passes out in my girlfriend's bed. Goes into Markiplier's famous hibernative state. Yeah, he was in there sleeping for, I think he slept all night in there, actually. He just took a nap and then was just out all night. Just talks, yells in his sleep. <laughs> Mark having night terror. Chica! Oh. No, got Fro Freddy! Oh! Bonnie's at the window! Oh, oh God! <laughs> Mark, are you okay? <laughs> Not <laughs> again! <laughs> Doc, I've been having those dreams again. Oh, Mark. Have you been taking your meds? <sighs> Mark having night terrors to Freddy Fazbear is uh, honestly a hysterical concept. <laughs> just, just. <laughs> oh! 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 oh. <laughs> They just don't understand that that was my nom. <laughs> Market player uh, telling off a Vietnam War veteran. <laughs> you don't know what I've been through. You don't know what it's like sitting at my desk in my mansion when Freddy Fazbear's right around the corner. Especially on the second night when Foxy comes out on the stage. <laughs> comes down the hallway. Ah! I'm sorry. Oh, I can't talk. Drops to the ground. He has like that shell shock face. <laughs> just like staring. He has that thousand yard stare. Yeah, but fuck Mark. Ryan. <laughs> That's my boyfriends and girlfriends jobs. <laughs> that is true. Man, you ever thought about maybe we should just become Mormon? Because then we could have multiple wives and it's totally kosher. Well, I we already do and we don't need to be Mormon to do it. <sighs> That's true, but moving to Salt, Salt Lake seems like a cool city. Salt Lake City. Is that the national anthem of Salt Lake City? I hope so. They just chant they, that over and over? Over and over. They all gather around Salt Lake and they go, Salt Lake. And they do like the back and forth, like kumbaya. What, okay, what were they, were they saying like Bahu Doris or Va? What, what are they saying in the Grinch at the end? They're like, Bahu Dore, Bahu Dore, welcome Christmas, blah, blah, blah. I, I never knew what they were saying. So to me, it always sounded like, Bahu Dore. I thought it was Bahu Dore. Sounds like some cold shit. What do they say? Uh, they're saying um, Dahu Dores. Dahu Dores. So, so just Dores. does that mean anything in another language, or is it just gibberish? Is it just a uh, um, Doctor Seuss gibberish? Dahu means daughter, and no. Uh, oh, Dahu is the words daughter and who smushed together, and Dores equals gift. The one this closely. Reminds me of the similar sounding Scottish name Doris. I know it's just somewhere. Why are they all singing about a daughter being a gift? A beautiful gift? Because Cindy Lou Who, man, she saved Christmas. <laughs> True. So they're all saying, Sir, your daughter is a beautiful gift. And the entire town starts singing about how beautiful his daughter is. His <laughs> See, child daughter. In my mind, like, from what I got out of that scene was that that was just like a holiday song that has been sung. They had to have planned that, though, of singing about the beautiful daughter. Like, that was all like. <laughs> They didn't just instantly, like, they all instantly knew the words to sing the song Beautiful Daughter, like so maybe Daughter it is, Gift. Maybe it is just a, maybe in their time room, you know, Beautiful Daughter, the gift, Jesus was a woman. Oh, that is possible mm -hmm. in, the, in that timeline. Christ was a woman. It's possible that Christ you know? was a, a woman in in the who. Especially with that long hair. They could have just thought Christ was a woman because that, that long girly hair, that been, damn long hair. Yeah. What if Jesus was a woman? It's the biggest cover-up of all time. Da Vinci Code sequel. Come on. Come on, Hollywood. Let's Jesus, go. Jesus was trans. Get my ideas. Honestly, we need to walk into Warner Brothers Studios right now. <sighs> well, since they made Ariel Black, I, I'm not surprised anymore. I saw a tweet that was like, I, I, I uh, pitch a compromise. And it was just Rachel Dolezal as, as Ariel. <laughs> <laughs> like Photoshop. We should have Rachel Dolezal on the podcast. Man. We've had her on the Patreon. Have you seen her OnlyFans? No. Luke and I are big Dolezal heads. Dolezal has an OnlyFans? Yes. I'm sure it's very, like, safe for work. And there's feet pics. What? Luke got me a... Luke, throw up a Subscription picture of this. Subscription to Rachel Dolezal's no, no, no. OnlyFans? But I, one day I checked my mail, and I just have a, like, a envelope in the mail. And I'm like, who is this from? And I look, and it says Rachel Dolezal from her, like, apartment. Huh. 
and I was like, what the fuck? Why do I have something in the mail from Rachel Dolezal? It was like a cardboard envelope. It was I, a big thank you. I open it up, and it was Rachel thanking you and I for what we've done for the black community. Really? Um, yeah. What did we do? A lot. Okay, just making sure you uh, remembered all that we did. Of course, I remember everything. But uh, no, I opened it, and it was a picture of Rachel Dolezal looking like a like a fine forest minx, um, sitting there like like a like an elven maiden uh, by like a creek, I think, and she's scampily clad, and uh, it was signed. Did you say scampily clad? Yeah. Is it scantily clad? Mm -hmm. Okay, sorry. But I mean, it could be scamp. She was scamp. She, well, she was a little scamp. She looks like, like an elf queen, <clears throat> so scampily clad, right? She's scampering around the forest floor, uh, but I noticed that she cut her feet off in the picture. You start to see a little bit, and she cut it off, and she I know she did that on off? purpose. So, Luke, thank you. I've always, I've always, it's on my fridge. It's been on my fridge for over a year. So every morning when I wake up and walk downstairs to go to work, I see that picture of Rachel Dolezal. It gives me inspiration. It reminds me that there's people in my life who love and care about me. Um, and uh, on top of that, mm -hmm. uh, I also have a signed picture of Soldier Boy okay. on my fridge. Okay. From Luke? Uh, no, I don't remember where I actually oh, got that. I okay. think maybe I just ordered that for myself. It makes tracks. Yeah. Um, I mean, you got me a wonderfully framed picture like a signed frame picture of uh, uncle cracker mm -hmm. which people around the office continue to take and put up Why? places what's the deal with that? they take it off of my desk and they put it up like near the ceiling or something it's like it's what's the joke there and, and it's also it's, it's a gift matt gave me it's uncle cracker so why are you taking my gift off of my desk and making making a mockery of it i don't get it because i did did i get the uncle cracker gift for justin no did no. I get the Uncle Cracker gift for Jim? No. No. Did you get I don't the think Uncle Jim's Cracker ever touched gift for Layton? It. It's Layton and Justin. Yeah. I don't even know if Luke knows that we have an Uncle Cracker thing. Well, now he office. does. Now he's going to try to steal it. Luke, he's sitting there editing this right now and he's going, wait, what? Do I really have to do that? <sighs> There's an Uncle Cracker. Here, Luke, put up just... a picture of yourself with Uncle Cracker. <laughs> Luke, like the other day, he was sitting at uh, his desk here and he was like, you guys have really been mentioning me a lot in the podcast. Because <laughs> you edit uh, the podcast now, Luke. You're the honorary third podcast member. You're Jamie, like on the Joe Rogan show. Yeah, Luke, uh, throw up an estimation of how many cigarettes you smoked in the year 2021. He smoked a lot of cigarettes. Yep. Now, Luke, throw up an estimation, just a wild guess of how many people died on 9-11. Don't look it up. <laughs> just show me your guess. And now and now put the real number right, right next to it. That's good. Yeah. That was close, Luke. Very close. Um, but not exact. Which means you forgot a few, a few souls. Or overcompensated. Or he might have overcompensated. For a few souls. Which shows that he might have a little bit of a racial bias towards Middle Eastern people by assuming that there was that much of a, of a death toll. Or maybe he's counting the pilots. That's true. If you want to call them that. Are they... I, I, I said this recently, They technically I? piloted a plane, so I bet you couldn't do that. I, I bet couldn't. you if you were tasked... They had to, to learn how to fly a plane to for taking that. a plane and flying it into uh, the World Trade Center, you would not be able to. I probably could. And I honestly... If you took flying lessons, but not... I'm planning on taking flying lessons, and the first thing I'm going to do is... is. Can I even make that threat as a joke? What? Like, what I... can I, I don't think I can make that threat as a joke and then actually pursue a pilot's license. I am for all the megheads interested that already do this. I'm 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 looking at flying lessons and getting certified as a pilot. You were always... looking at all the buildings you could potentially fly your plane into too. Listen, all I'm saying is, what the hell happened with Building Seven? <laughs> <laughs> Looks like a demolition if you look at it. That That's one, all I'm saying I, about think the, about it. No, Nine Eleven conspiracies. That one is 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 the one that <coughs> does get me going a little. Hmm. Mine is the falling man. Why didn't he just fly? <laughs> God. I don't know if we can keep that in. <laughs> but, I mean, what's the deal with falling? <laughs> you know? They never identified him. They think they did, but it's kind of hard to identify someone from a... Seth MacFarlane. <laughs> you know, dude, he was if Mark to. Wahlberg was there at Ground Zero, he could have caught him. Things would have been a lot different. <laughs> Things would have been a lot different with Mark Wahlberg. Especially if, they were, he, if he was there for Pearl Harbor. No, we know who the falling man was. It was Tom Hanks. That is true. Remember? And From in incredibly, incre incredibly loud. Extremely loud, incredibly oh, yeah, close. That. Yes. Like, it's Sandra implied. Sandra Bullock played his wife. It's implied that Tom Hanks was the falling man. Yes. Are our fans too young to even know what the falling man is? 
I, I wouldn't think so. It's a famous picture. It's a famous, very depressing. It's sad. very. You don't need to go look it up if you haven't seen it. So it's why are you sad. making fun of it? Well, Matt was making fun of it. I wasn't. People get our voices mixed up a lot. So especially with this invis 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 invisibility invis yeah. potion. That was Matt saying the joke. I was. I. I just looked at him with my eyes, with my eyebrows furrowed. Well, I couldn't even tell. Yeah. Are they now you know. right now? Not, not anymore. Hey, I got dude, over it. Guess what I'm doing right now? What? Flipping you off. What? With both hands. <gasps> Wait a second. Dude. Yeah. Oh, hold, zoom, zoom in on this, Luke. I'm pulling out my invisible penis. Yo! Look at this, Luke. You better be zooming in on my invisible penis. Oh, dude, I can pull mine out, too. Yep. Zoom hey, in dude. on Matt. I'm gonna flop this shit around. Ready? Now, go back and forth. Between both of us flapping our genitals around. Helicopter, bitch. Yep. I think I'm just gonna lay, leave my cock out. I'm gonna leave my cock out, too. <sighs> One ball, though, not two. I mean, we can't see each other's penises. So oh, I can, okay, you know, I'll fully take my pants off, then. Okay. <sighs> Dude, I am, I, guess I, what? I'm what? erect right now, you can't even tell. I am standing stiff. I'm like a soldier saluting the flag. Let me see if I can... What was that? What did I hit? What Dude, I that hitting? better not be what I think it is. What am I hitting? That's my leg. Oh, okay. Hold up. What okay. about there? That's my belly. How about... That's my dick. <laughs> you see, it's hard, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's yeah, it's standing shit. straight up. Jesus Christ. Hold up. Do you need a... Thank you. Hold on a second. Give me a little more. Give me a little more. Spit yeah. You, oh, I think you missed that time. That's on the. <coughs> wait, 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 wait. See, mm -hmm. center of the chair, uh -huh. like center of the chair. Mm -hmm. Wait, I'm following your voice. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just drool it out, drool it out. Oh, yeah, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Let me just. You want help? Here, reach down, right there. Yeah. Yeah, you are hard, buddy. I know, right? God damn, man, you're getting better at this, man. Thanks. Hold up, hold up. Just let me. <coughs> Fuck, dude. You've been practicing. You want to go to... You want to get a... <coughs> I haven't sh showered since yesterday, so... I could... Yeah, it's a bit spicy down there. Spicy? Yeah. Oh, that's... That's like a... You know, men can actually get yeast infections. You know that? And oh. it's... I've been struggling with that recently. Oh. Well, I wasn't trying to make you feel bad. No, I know. It's just an observation. It, will it get on... Nah, I don't... You can get a yeast infection in your throat. Oh. So, actually, let's Are maybe you... go girl some mouthwash. Yeah. How long then... does this stuff last? It should be wearing off soon. Uh, It'd be awkward if I if it wore off while I was sitting here erect and naked. But it didn't. Well, I'm and gonna pull my pants back up just yeah. to be safe. And uh, let's go gargle some mouthwash. Right? Well, I don't need to. I, you do. I do. Um, you can at least put some medical cream. Uh, if you it, know that you have a problem, you shouldn't try to spread it. I've had it for a couple months. It's fine. Okay. I'm used to the itch by now. Smell well, though is something else, right? Yeah. We'll be we'll be right back. All right. Let's go to ads. Mint Mobile offers premium wireless starting at just 15 bucks a month. Yeah, I'm not kidding. And now for the plot twist. <laughs> oh, wait a second. There isn't one. Seriously, Mint Mobile just has premium wireless from 15 bucks a month. There's no trapping you into a two-year contract or opening the bill to find all these crazy fees. There's no luring you in with free subscriptions to streaming services that you'll forget to cancel and be charged full prices for. No, there's none of that. I switched over to Mint Mobile because I had a phone plan with a major provider um, and they were charging me like a hundred something a month. All these little fees. It's so stupid. I don't know why anyone would want to uh, when there's something like Mint Mobile. And what's great is Mint Mobile gives you the best rate whether you're buying for one or for a family. And at Mint Families start at just two lines. All plans come with unlimited talk and text plus high speed data delivered on the nation's largest 5G network. So it's great service. Use your own phone with any Mint Mobile plan and keep your same phone number along with all your existing contacts, all that good stuff. Switch to Mint Mobile and get premium wireless service starting just 15 bucks a month. Get premium wireless, I can't say it any clearer, from just 15 bucks a month and no unexpected plot twists at mintmobile.com slash supermega. That's mintmobile.com slash supermega. Seriously, you'll make your wallet very happy at mintmobile.com slash supermega. And now a word from our sponsor, BetterHelp. I used to really get bogged down with brain fog and depression and lack of motivation. I had a lot of personal issues in my life. I mean, I still do. But 
talking to a therapist about it has made it so much better. It, uh, you know, has helped me immensely. Therapy is one of the best things I've ever done in my life. And, you know, the stigma about it is is being destigmatized nowadays. Uh, and more and more and more people are getting therapy, which is fantastic. And a great easy way to do it is better help. It can be tough to train your brain to stay in problem solving mode when faced with a challenge in life. But when you learn to find your own solutions, there's no better feeling. A therapist can help you become a better problem solver, making it easier to accomplish your goals, no matter how big or small. BetterHelp is a wonderful app where you can have video calls with therapists. You can be matched with a licensed therapist uh, in just under 48 hours. You can do video calls anytime. Uh, you can message them. It's it's fantastic. It's like having a little, uh, little problem solver in your pocket that's going to help you become a better problem solver. If you're thinking of giving therapy a try, BetterHelp's a great option. It's convenient, accessible, affordable, and entirely online. You don't have to go to any awkward cold waiting rooms and sit down in person and be all nervous. Do it right from the comfort of your bed. All you gotta do is fill out a brief survey and you can get matched with a therapist. And you can switch therapists anytime if one's not working out. So, when you want to be a better problem solver, therapy can get you there. Visit betterhelp.com slash supermega today. Visit betterhelp.com slash supermega to get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp.com slash supermega. Go, go be the best version of you you can be. Better help. Welcome back, everyone. It seems, yeah, it's wearing off. Yep, there we go. Coming back into picture, baby. Look at that. Nice. Look, now now we're we're big and strong again. We're, we're, you can see us. That's right. That's right, baby. That shit was cool, man. That shit was, uh, I might be down to do that again sometime. Okay. Maybe I'm every down. episode of the podcast. Okay. Sure. Well, I'll- not every episode. I, feel, I almost feel like we should just make it like, I mean. Do they have uh, other potions at smoke shops i've never i've never fucked around with potions i go check this is the one that has been not really on the shelves that much because it's so rare because a lot of people want it I don't how like, much was it how much yeah just like it was like plus tax it was, um, like 15 bucks really that's it yeah for a whole fucking thing of invisible yeah i know it's crazy that's not bad but i mean you'd think it would be more expensive because there's a lot there's a big market for it but yeah, especially after Harry Potter. A lot of people see it as like a party trick, so it's cheap. Yeah, I get that, man. I really want to have another Halloween party this year. You should. Last one was fun. I know. That that magician was something else. And it was the first time I did I would, I'll put it here, I'll put out a nice word of advice uh, for everybody. It uh, doesn't matter if you live in a big city okay. or middle of nowhere. Okay. Let's I would. Hear it. I would avoid uh, doing any kinds of hard drugs. Uh, no, hard drugs are okay, okay, but I would avoid doing any kind of powder or pill, uh, especially in 2022 in this day and age, because fentanyl is an all-time high. One sniff of the stuff and you're dead, and you have no idea that it's even in there. And something scary else, uh, also to keep in mind for you little drug heads out there, you can use test strips and you can test things like cocaine or ketamine or whatever, but guess what? There are fentanyl analogs that won't show up on test strips. So just keep that in mind. Really? Yeah. Okay. So, uh, good to, that's what I've heard. Good to know. Um, why I, I still don't understand the reason for cutting drugs with fentanyl because fentanyl is, is it cheaper? But it, I mean, it's way more powerful than morphine and, and Cause it gets you addicted. Is that it? Isn't it more addictive? It makes it more addictive. Well, yeah, but it's crazy. It's completely different drug from like cocaine. So you I do don't, cocaine and then I don't think it's just to be like, oh, we need to cut it with something else because then they would just use baking like fucking soda, yeah. baking soda, whatever the fuck. But, yeah, I think it's just to get their clients hooked on it. And then people fucking die. Like Mac Miller. Mac Miller. Uh, there were like three or four comedians in L.A. Uh, I think last year or maybe earlier this year. They went out to a bar and someone was like, hey, you guys want to do some cocaine? And they're comedians. And they're like, they yeah. They all did it. They all did a line and all four of them died. Jesus. Mm-hmm. It's that well, easy with fentanyl. Well, isn't it like one of the leading causes, if not the leading causes of drug-related deaths is fentanyl at this yeah. point? Yeah, it's, uh, it, it's everywhere right now, too. I don't want to be spitting non-facts. Well, I mean, I, I, don't, Lies, think it, I don't think it hurts anyone to even to say that, to it's over-exaggerate bad. fentanyl yeah. because it is, uh, we have a friend who was in a two-week coma from it, mm-hmm. uh, from, from a fentanyl overdose. They but had no just, idea. Well, he said he, I mean, we already mentioned him, Luke. He said he tested it wrong. So well, testing in his mind was lining up three or four lines of it and then doing it and seeing how he felt and then watching. I can't remember. It was some TV show. Do you remember what he was watching? Ugly Betty. Yeah, yeah. 
Um, which for me, that I would. Am sorry. That, that, <laughs> that was not expecting <laughs> of all shows. That's like around that New Girl era, or maybe it was before. before New Girl. Ugly Betty? <laughs> Dude, Ugly Betty. I was trying to think of like a very obscure television show that you'll remember from like when you were like 12, but like what it wasn't really like that popular, but everyone might remember. Give the bitch some glasses and let it be done with. Ugly, <laughs> ugly whore. She is, she is very pretty in real life. Yes. Betty? She's also <laughs> just very pretty as the character too. I don't feel, I don't feel like Betty's ugly. Yeah, uh, let me take. You another. pork that. You pork Betty. Watch. Just I'll give you my real honest okay. answer here. We're not talking about the actress. We're talking about the character of Betty. Okay, we're not sexualizing the actress here. I mean, we technically are because yeah, she I, plays I, the character. I think I would. Right? Yeah, I would. The only thing that bothers me a little bit is there's this one picture and she looks a lot like Coconut Head from a. <laughs> Ned's declassified, and that would... Dude, what do you think Coconut Head's up to these days? Do you think he's a Chad now? Well, he was always a if Chad. I, if I were, like, an actor then. like that, I definitely would try to have, like, a, te- a Chad transformation. Rob Pinkston. Rob? He's 34. Kingston? Pinkston. Pinkston? Yeah, that's what he looks like now. Oh, shit. You can kind of see it in the eyes still. Yeah, you He can. looks like a... Wait, let me see his face again. <laughs> Can you get a full shot? That's a good, like, Vine Boom sound effect uh, picture. Yeah, he went from coconut head to pineapple head, more like. Nice. You know what I'm saying? Zoom in on that, Luke. Because he has pineapple hair. head. What's Listen Drake? here, football head. What's Drake Bell up to these days? Is he still in Mexico? Chilling out? No, Max I don't think Black he's allowed to go to Mexico. Um, Let's see. Uh, I've seen Spanish articles. Uh... Frank Drake, who led Search for Life on Other Planets, dies at 92. Oh, that's sad. Drake? Yeah, Drake Drake, Drake died. <laughs> Drake Bell on child endangerment sentence. I was very stupid when I found out she was underage. Bro. Why Kyle Massey did that too, man? Did what? Kyle Massey got in trouble for some, some children's stuff. He was... Uh, I believe grooming a minor that he knew since she was four. Do you think it's safe still? I don't know if you should drink anymore. Because we're we're both pretty much fully back. I mean, we you're, can, right, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. I mean, it tastes good, man. I'm just gonna. And it's fun. It is fun. Well, that lasts like twenty five minutes. Imagine taking someone and driving home. Dude, the cops would pull you over and be so confused. And then you could just roll down your window. They come. What? And then they'd walk back to the cop car. You'd start going again. They'd pull you over again, roll down the window. Duh. Oh, oh. Not- that would be a good prank. I want that bumper sticker that says only gay cops pull me over. <laughs> a lot of uh, people who are in uh, like little, do you know what Groms are? Like little motorcycles. <sighs> people do like, there's little Grom gangs that go around like Santa Monica and LA in general too. No, I mean, I see the guys on the bikes always doing the wheelies near my house. There's like, there's, think of like a motorcycle and then make it so Small, just like, like a got, crotch rocket like a sh- size, like a shrink right now. No, no, no. Like it looks like a toy. What are you describing your cock and balls? No, I was just gonna say, uh, they're like these things. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's like groups who go out like that, and they'll have if you pull me over, you're gay on the back of their t shirt. That's and stuff. awesome, dude. And because they can easily get away from cops, especially in New York City. You know? Oh, I've seen those videos like on dash cams where dudes outrun the cops on their bikes. Because, I mean... It's easy. Especially in a city, like a dense city. I saw one that was on I-26 in South Carolina, and the guy was going like 130, and he just fucking... And he got away. Good for him. It's, okay. Did he get his license? I guess he didn't have... Well, I've been watching a lot of... Uh, not recently, but I have watched a lot of like running from cops compilations on we dash cams. We watched some road rage last night. We did. We did. At road rage. I had dreams about road rage now. Because of that. Of you getting the one? No, uh, no, just witnessing some. Oh. Wait. Yeah, okay, no. I had a dream that some road rage happened in front of us, and the dude gets out of his car, and they start yelling at each other, and then they broke into, like, a choreographed dance thing together, and everyone was like, oh, they got us. How long us. ago was this dream? Was last this night. Re- oh, okay. Probably because we watched those videos last night. We also watched some other videos last night. Yeah, we did. 
porn. We watch porn. We watch together. porn. Ron and I watch porn together, and people might say that's gay. There's nothing gay about it. It strengthens the relationship between brother and brother. There's I nothing said, wrong with it. I said this last night. The ancient Romans used to do heterosexual male bonding where they would get naked and they would all get erect and they give would give each other blowjobs. N- well, they would never, there would never be any ejaculation. You don't have to ejaculate from a blowjob. I never have. No once. one's that good at a blowjob. No. People try to pretend like they are, but. I'm so good. <sighs> Yeah, bro, okay. you choking that shit like it's like it like it like you're strangling someone to death. But sometimes they bite it off and you have to get it reattached. No one knows what they're doing. One time a girl swallowed mine. Whole. She bit it and swallowed it. She didn't mean to. She bit it and she you was have so to surprised wait for the digestive you know. Yeah, luckily my penis is acid proof so it 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 made it out alive. Put well, a bag for you. It's not fully acid proof. There was some damage, but it's since healed relatively well. There's still some, like, scarring, but oh. we'll, uh, oh, I was going to talk, talk about the Twitch drama, but I guess that's old news when this comes out. Who cares? People probably want our opinions. Yeah, you guys want our opinions on the Twitch drama? It's stupid. I think that, you know, there's always the war of, it's like, what's better, Twitch streamers or YouTubers? Um. YouTubers. Take a look, guys. YouTubers slash Twitch streamers. Listen, streamers just turn on their camera and sit there. And beg for money. And go on YouTube and watch other people's fucking content and get more money off of them streaming it than the people put into creating it. We are sitting here. Look, we built this set. We make highly produced content. Do you see this sign? This wasn't cheap. Do you see it hanging from from Home Depot chains? Those aren't cheap. Nope. You see this table? It's pretty cheap, actually. The table's pretty cheap. The Pickle Rick... Motion, motion activated thing that when it's turned on and not out of battery, not cheap. Uh, candles. This candle. Brian goes on gone. vacation. Not, not cheap. definitely not cheap. Not cheap. This is book four. One of the most expensive things we have in the office, actually. It's something about book four is rare. I don't know what it is. If any of you actually have book four, uh, tag Super Mega because I'm sure I'm sure Jim when he's running the social media would love to see uh, your or copies. just tag Jim. Yes. Throw up Jim's at Lou so people know where to find Jim. Um. Can actually all of y'all um, just at Jim with a picture of a penis? Just, a real penis. <laughs> yeah, not your penis. Yes, don't do your pe- Use another penis. Yeah. Flaccid. Go to Google Images, type in flaccid penis. And, and then, then at Jim. With and then it. find um, one. You want you want to be different than everyone else's. So don't choose one you think everyone else is going to choose. And also don't rat us out and be yeah. like, oh, Matt and Ryan said to send you a penis because then you ruined the joke. Jim, I want Jim to sit down on Twitter and say where are all these penises coming from. Yep. <laughs> or at, if someone could please, please Photoshop Jim's face onto the head of a penis. You guys, there's some good Photoshoppers out there. We know that because of Ryan's balls. Yes. Be careful with that, by the way. These balls. Yeah. yeah. See? There are no ball. I didn't pull my balls out. We should do a a book club show where we read books like this and then people have to read along with us and then we we put out a homework challenge and the winners get free merch. We can read Lord of the Rings, mm. Harry Potter. I was thinking more like Hero Brian Goes on Vacation or Lolita, but um, the, the, yeah, that's 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 a good idea. Or our own we, the first episode could be our own book. I could I could read some of the book anytime. I mean, we wrote it. I'll flip to a random page right now. It's that time of the podcast game where we selflessly promote our own New York Times best-selling book. Now, remember, for those who don't know, give me a number. We wrote a book between one and uh, uh, one sixty. I'm going to give you one hundred and no, 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 no. Sorry, sorry, seventy-eight. So while Matt gets to the seventy-eighth page, we wrote a book. I turned oh, directly oh, to it, but one page a away. bit ago, and um, now Matt will read you a passage to hopefully get you to uh, buy this book. I know a lot of people already have. It's a great book, and just telling by. Also, something to add, there are pictures in the book. For those who find it hard to read, we get to keep your attention through pictures. They're great, too. All the artists did a fucking fantastic job. Like, I mean, like, look at that. So let's hear what uh, page 78 is. This is uh, the chapter entitled The Sad Clown. Okay. It's, it's an excerpt from that. His back was to the boys as he shed his trench coat and hat, revealing a tussled head of dark curly hair. So... Who are you exactly? Matt asked, the mysterious gentleman's back still to the boys. He turned around slowly, revealing his face in the dim light. I'm Michael Richards, said Michael Richards. That's right. Standing before Matt and Ryan to their utter disbelief was Michael Richards. Michael Richards? You work for the CIA? 
Ryan stammered out, still in absolute shock and awe, that he had just met THE Michael Richards, the man who portrayed the zany character Cosmo Kramer in the hit sitcom Seinfeld, American television show 1989-1998. Surprise, surprise, Michael Richards said as he lit up a cream soda flavored Swisher Sweet. It kind of looked like he was smoking a piece of poop. Ha ha. <laughs> That's our New York Times bestseller, oh. baby. Good. It, it's every time I hear a passage from it, I cackle. I light up with with glee. I was trying to hold in all my laughter for that. It was, it was difficult. All right, I'll read one more paragraph. Give me another number. How about how about this time you give me a number? Uh, so I don't want to do big spoilers towards the end. So I'll stay away from later numbers. Okay. Um, let's do one twenty one. One twenty one. Okay. Yeah, we know how to read, guys. Okay. Page 121. Anyone? Yeah, I like that. The pot of gold at the end of the rainbow turned out to be a drab little town. Gone were the skyscrapers, Lamborghinis, and buffets the boys had grown accustomed to back home. This place was, mu- was nothing more than a collection of lumpy wooden cottages whose foundations and lanterns swung with the biting wind. In the center of town was a large bonfire with one lone soul tending to it. Boring, Matt said, rolling his eyes. The boys made their way to the bonfire and plopped down next to the stranger. He was a tall, older Siberian man with a short, messy hair and a silly mustache. Something in Russia is like, I can read it. How do you say that one? Privyet. Is that really just? Okay. Yeah, it means hello. I almost, I almost, I was about to actually just say privyet. Yeah, yeah, as a joke. So, Privyet greeted the man. After Matt and Ryan were finished laughing at his accent, they gathered their composure, asked him to speak English, and continued their conversation. Nice. As you guys can tell, it's a good book. So if you could please support the book, Gino Samuel voices the audio book. The audio book is a couple bucks, I believe. Uh, it's, Have someone it's read four it hours, you. and there's we we worked really hard to we edited it and put a whole soundscape. There's music, there's sound effects, and Gino Samuel, the guy who narrates the Chris Chan documentary narrates the audiobook in that beautiful Lithuanian accent, and uh, whenever there's all caps, he yells it. He reads it very methodically. Pretty um, much like he reads the um, the Chris Chan documentary. Uh, a lot of people mostly I, know him from that. I accidentally did leave in one chapter. I accidentally left him breaking. Makes it better, I think. I, think I, I cut. He breaks a lot. Actually, did we ever upload that? Because the book is so funny. I don't think we ever upload that to Patreon. I have a compilation of all the times he broke and laughed while reading it. Get ready. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> That's not just because I mispronounced ready, right? Yeah. Get ready. Because it's not probably only, already on Patreon by the time. Not only will out. Patreon have that, they'll have a bonus episode, like a uh, mini cast. At the end, when we end this, we record a little more and put it on Patreon. So if Super you want to. After hours. If you want to support the channel and also get some things back, like behind the scenes footage, QAs. Um, extra videos. Extra videos. We do monthly Q and A's where you can ask us questions and we'll answer it. Well, we uh, try to do monthly Q and A's. We've been better. Yes. There was. There, well, was a, there was a. I mean, some stuff happened this year that kind of uh, killed our motivation. Like what? Um. Some stuff, but uh, you know, overall, uh, yeah, we've been posting a lot more. You can get these episodes not only early but ad free as well, um, so you don't have to sit through those dang dirty ads. On Patreon. You can see Uncensored Penis is on the Patreon, too. Yep, we, we post uh, penis on the Patreon there every is, now and then. There is penis on the Patreon. It's not all the time. You have to make sure you're a committed member of the Patreon, because it's not like we do it every month, but... I mean, if you, go, if you go down to Patreon... Monthly penis pictures. Five bucks a month. It helps support the channel. It helps pay everyone's wages here at the Super Megaplex. It helps pay for rent at the Plex, and we, we've, we've keeping this operation going. We've asked this question before, but legitimately... Going back to putting our balls, balls on the Patreon. We have about how many Patreon subscribers right now? Roughly. Close to 9,000, I believe, at the current moment. Close to 9,000. How much would that number actually dr- jump if we did a ball reveal? I think I Matt would... Matt and Ryan's test. I think we would have to announce it. Mm-hmm. If we did ahead of time. It, yes, it, yes. And say, we will do a ball reveal if we get to this number of patrons. Oh, uh, we'd have to... I'm trying to see, like, how how many patrons do you think would be added just out of the curiosity of, like, oh, shit. It's like, yep, we just posted our balls on Patreon. Go subscribe to see them now. See, the thing is, I'm scared of posting our balls and then getting, like, 100 patrons from that. Cold yeah. Ones posted balls and got almost 20,000 patrons total. 
Just from the balls? I believe so. From the Well, I think Chad's dick too, but... I don't think our dicks or our balls are worth that many. No. Followers, I'm like. okay with posting balls on the Patreon. I just need it to be worthwhile because once my nuts are on the internet, they're on the internet. Forever. And people will send them to your mom. Yeah, and my mom is going to call me and go, please tell me that you did not seriously post your testicles on the internet, Matthew. My, my parents would not be happy about that, but... I'd be, I'd be like, what chat. about Johnny Knoxville and Bam Margera and, and Steve-O? They show the, the, their balls and their butt and their buttholes sometimes. Yeah, I mean, guys, people who are not patrons, and I want to hear this for real in the comments, sound off, and on Reddit too. We, we're, we're, we're interested. Would people who are not currently patrons, maybe you've never considered subscribing, maybe you have considered subscribing, maybe you're on the fence, it's five bucks a month, would you... We can make a $10 a month ball tier. Yes, where it's like every month you get a picture of our balls for being in the ball tier. Yeah. I mean, would you guys... It's can, five extra bucks a month. And you get one picture of our balls every month. Now, how about four extra bucks a month, one for each ball? So the $9 ball tier. Yes. And nine, you could, uh, in the commercial, you could then flip it, it, it looks over like sideways penis. and it looks like balls and then a little hanging penis, you know? Yep. It does. It does. It does. Okay. Well, we'll consider it. But, but... People that aren't patrons, would you or would you not consider actually joining our Patreon if we showed balls? They're just nuts. Yeah. Well, there are not. Well, you can't say they're just nuts and expect people to be like, yeah. They're our nuts. Yes. You would see our testicles. And you would see that Ryan's got a big old sack and I got a real tiny shriveled up little sack of prunes. I'm waiting for their answers. Text your answers in now. Uh, but yeah. Uh, we're gonna get running. It's been a great episode, guys. Thank you for tuning in. We said at the beginning it's gonna be a fantastic, and it was a fantastic it was episode. A, it was a good, we said it would be good, and it was a good episode. And, uh, if you are a patron, you can head over to Patreon right now and watch Super Mega, Super Mega After Hours. After Dark, After Hours, well, After Dark. I forgot what we called it the Let's first say it's time. After Hours. I this like is only that. number two, but, uh... But yeah, we can, uh, there's plenty of stuff on the Patreon, lots of fun stuff, like going all the way back to 2018. So, uh, if you go join now, there's a pretty big catalog of shit to watch. Go do that. Please. Please. Support us. And watch our videos. You, and, um, and play us while you're playing video games. You also get, like, extended cuts of, like, all the mailroom episodes. Or listen to us while you're playing video games. Extended cuts of all the live action ones, pretty much. Yeah. All right. Well, we'll see you guys, except for you $5 patrons. We'll yeah. see you guys in the next episode of the Super Mega Cast. Uh, and Luke, why don't you go ahead and, um, Luke, why don't you go ahead and use yourself as a side wipe to end it. Man, it's always a slam dunk when I see Ryan and Matt. Love you guys. <laughs> <laughs>